Director Valovaya, dear friend, High Representative Miguel Angel Moratinos, Minister Cabusoglu, friends, thanks to the organizer and attendees to the One Humanity concert. It is a special pleasure for me to attend this concert that marks the opening of the new office of the United Nations Alliance of Civilization in Geneva. On this occasion, I would like to share with you three ideas. The first is the universality of culture. Music and culture are at the heart of human civilization. They connect to our most subtle thoughts and deep emotion. They are both intimate and communal serving as a vehicle to unite us. Differences of ethnicity, belief, or wealth become secondary when confronted to the universality of art and culture. In a few moments, we will have an opportunity to feel just like this. We are indeed one single humanity and rich by many cultures. So congratulations for this beautiful initiative and concept. The second idea refers to how we can operationalize this ideal of unity. We must persevere in our efforts to better connect the three pillars of UN activities. Peace and stability cannot exist in a world where sustainable development is not a reality and where human rights are not fully guaranteed. We are listening to strong voices from Glasgow and elsewhere that are calling on us to take action to guarantee this. Without sustainable climate policy, there will no be stability and prosperity. We have to be better equipped to build lasting peace and address the deep-rooted causes of conflict. As I mentioned, a key tool is culture. Expelling culture from our society is the opposite path to peace, as I recently shared with the Nicaraguan writer, Sergio Ramirez. He, as many other writers and artists, is an example of how words impact in our democracies and how silence them result in poorer and hopeless societies. We need better policies on education and migration. Multilateralism is key in this regard, and not just among states. We need to work with civil society, youth, and the media to combat violent extremism through grassroots projects that make a difference on the ground. We cannot forget that the full participation of women in peace building is not only a matter of justice, but also a necessary condition for lasting and inclusive results. This is key. I am sure that all of you are thinking on Afghan women and girls and how them walking back to schools and workplace is the only opportunity for peace. I want to call on this alliance of civilization to work with and for Afghan women as crucial actors for peace in the country. This open list of challenges take me to a third idea. These challenges are part of what the United Nations Alliance of Civilization is about, namely a connection between a universal ideal and the tools to oper operationalize it, to turn it into a reality on the ground, an instrument based on very concrete policy lines of actions. Since its conception 15 years ago, the Alliance has worked with three Secretary Generals to become the global platform it is today when it comes to intercultural dialogue, understanding, and cooperation between governments, international and civil society organization, media, universities, the private sectors, and individuals. We work with all actors that are committed to the promotion of understanding across divides. 
all of us are motivated by the same ideals that drove High Representative Sampaio, who sadly passed away a few months ago. He left behind him an invaluable legacy full of enthusiasm, leadership, and a clear vision that made the Alliance a very special space in the United Nations system that grows slowly but surely as we see here today and Miguel Angel Moratinos assure very highly. This concert and the opening of the new office in Geneva are the best tribute we can pay to the Sampaio's dedication. So congratulations to you, High Representative Moratinos and your devoted team for this achievement and the best of luck to continue this important work. You can count on Spanish support all along the path. Let me finish by saying that Spain will remain committed to supporting the Alliance efforts, as well as the Secretary General's new agenda for peace, which, which, is, which will surely pave our way over the next few years. We will work this talk action by action, together with our partners, Turkey, dear friend, the UN Secretary General, the Alliance of Civilization, and its group of friends. We will act with a big conviction in a very human and noble ideal, our wish to contribute to building a more peaceful world. This is possible, so count on us to make it happen. Thank you.